uh, earlier we showed you on first fire roses how to paint the roses uh, and then we would fire it but I think whilst you were painting the roses when you established your roses how you wanted them you could also if you wanted to put this border in um, you need to use a color that you know is quite smooth because some china painting colors are smoother than others and you can brush it on going up to where your scroll lines will be don't forget your pattern is in the book And I'm using an open medium, Gemini. So that gives me the opportunity to correct things before I fire them. If you use a medium that dries, you need to be very careful and quite skillful with your painting. Because if you make any mistakes, you have to wipe it all off and then start again. So I've applied the colour, then I take the excess oil and colour out of the brush and holding the brush further back than if you were doing detail, I just blend the colour mainly out towards the rim. You find it too difficult to get a smoothness with the paintbrush. You can use a fine sponge. And gently blend the colour with the sponge. The next step I would indicate where the scrolls are going to be on this pattern by using a sable hair brush, a dry brush uh, just conditioned in the oil and then dried off on your kitchen roll and put the tip of the brush down, press down and pull the scroll around and as you get towards the end of the scroll if you lift it up you'll get a finer impression I know that you can't see very much at the moment but when it comes back from firing you will be able to see where this outline is small ones. You're lifting the paint off, then take off the paint on your piece of kitchen roll, working around your scrolls. Then I would fire that in the kiln and then that gives you An area to use your pen work on. This is second fire. The roses were fired at first and then the outline around the border of the plate with the scrolls indicated. Second fire I sketched on the leaves. You can still see the black china graph pencil that will all fire away and then before I fire it I'm going to hopefully carefully put these scrolls around the plate I've mixed some of the china paint with pen oil and if I scoop up the, the oil onto the pen and then proceed to put some scrolls around. If you find that you can't do long sweeps of scrolls, just do short ones. 
You can do dots. Pen work is quite relaxing. Well, I find it quite relaxing. Dots, little hooks. Everybody has a different style. And don't forget you can always wipe off what you don't like because you've already fired on the roses and this outside border doesn't interfere with the design that's in the centre of the plate. I think that gives you a fairly basic idea of what to do and also you could sign your name with this pen work while you've got it on the go. Your designs of course don't forget are in your book The Magic of China Painting all the instructions of all sorts of things are in there. It'll keep you going for quite some time. And you've got the tracings for a lot of the designs in the back of the book.